This guy is Jerry. Ça c'est Jeff. Ça c'est Ed. Et ça c'est Phil. Hi. Nous sommes DPC. The affected. Soothsayer. Movie Art Bark. Et DBC. Comment se porte la scène du métal au Québec? Voyez-le par vous-même. If you were in LA or New York, all the companies are down there, and you know, there's like so many record companies, so many studios, so I, many I say it's the opposite places, of so that. many places to play. I say it's the opposite of that. There's so many bands down in LA that it's really tough to get to make it because they only choose the best ones. Whereas we're here in Montreal, we got less competition. Who else is there really Voivod with an album contract? Right. And so uh, it's easy for us in Montreal to, to get big. But in LA, we're nobody's down but there. This kind of music, okay, is international music. Okay, it's not, it's not like really commercial or anything like that. It's still like on an underground level, but it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's the whole planet. It's everywhere. Ils sont qui en sont à leur deuxième album et ils nous en parlent. En 1987, c'est au tour de DBC d'y aller d'un premier micro-sillon. Plus tôt cet hiver, le groupe entrait en studio pour enregistrer Universe, qui paraîtra en mai. C'est un album concept qui représente une évolution marquée du point de vue des textes et de l'approche musicale. Un micro-sillon très différent du premier. Very different. Yeah, the music's way more progressive. We, we've evolved uh, so much. It's, we've gone out of the... Uh, simply written stuff to having stuff written uh, everything's written for a purpose and it's all like composed like a classical music piece would be it's it's based on science you know what we already know now the beginning of the universe and all that and then we bring it up to man evolving and it's just everything continues from song to song and each song is like a chapter in a, in a book on the evolution of man right from the beginning of the universe and it gets into a little bit of philosophy and it's uh, it's, it's positive it's you know none of this negative image stuff it's really positive it's We have a lot of influences, but the thing we try the hardest is we try like to sound like nobody. We want to be totally yeah, we original. Want to, yeah, everything yeah. that we try to be original. If we, 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 as we, as don't, we don't we really work on originality. Uh, yeah, we don't really listen to much uh, other bands uh, in this kind of music, because uh, if you listen to other bands in this kind of music, you might be influenced by them. So we listen to stuff that's a little bit out of right. whack, yeah. funk. Yeah, classical. Rock so you get influenced by that instead. So you're writing metal music, but you've been influenced by classical or rap, and it comes out really, uh, really original. Soothsayer enregistrait cet hiver son tout premier micro-sillon au studio vert de Saint-Ubald. Il devrait être en magasin au printemps sous étiquette New Renaissance. 